Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Jess and welcome back to Planted Hippie. Good morning you guys. It is a beautiful sunny Florida day and I thought it was the perfect day to get out of the house, get some plant chores done as well as go to the plant store and restock on some plant supplies that I've been needing as well as getting some new supplies to be able to construct my very first moss pole. So if that does interest you and you want to know how I accomplish that then I please ask that you keep on watching, leave a like, a comment, or even subscribe down below so that you are notified every Every time I upload a new video and to help me keep on planting. Alright you guys, let's get into the video! Alright, so I made it to Home Depot. It is freaking packed and I'm a little nervous to film for the first time in public so of course it would be like the most packed day but let's go ahead and go inside and get our supplies. Oh, and I thought this would be a cool time to go ahead and show you guys my new tattoo that I um, mentioned in the last video that I was going to be getting. So I ended up getting it. Let's see if we can focus on it. It's so beautiful. It's sunflowers and just some floral work and it wraps around my arm a bit. So I'm absolutely in love. The artist's name is Jenna Boitner here in St. Augustine, Florida. I'll leave her Instagram tagged below. But she's an amazing artist, an amazing person, and I just love, love, love my new tattoo. Other than that, let's go ahead and go get our supplies inside Home Depot. <laughs> it's so packed. I'm so scared. Alright, so Home Depot basically had everything that I needed, but I am missing the wire mesh. I think they had a green one, but I didn't want green, I want black, because that's just going to make me mad if I have green moss poles. So let's go to Lowe's next, and then if they don't have it, we'll go to Ace Hardware after that. So let's go on the hunt for this plastic mesh, I guess. Okay, so we are back in the plant room and back home with all of our supplies and we can go ahead and start constructing this moss pole. So really all I'm going to be doing today is combining my two Monstera aloes onto one very thick moss pole. I think I want to do a, a more chunkier one for that, for that pot and plant. And then I'm going to be making a skinnier moss pole for my Philodendron Florida Beauty. And then I think I'm going to make another skinny moss pole for my Philodendron Varicosum that I'm going to be propagating here soon. And that'll be in another video as well, so stay tuned for that and look out for that video. But let's go ahead and get our supplies set up and laid out so we can go ahead and get started on this pole. I'm super excited. So I'm going to grab my Beyonce Austin's moss pole here. Okay, so I've grabbed the pole that we're going to be using for today. This is the pole that was inside the old moss pole that all of my plants have basically been on. Um, I purchased them already kind of pre-made as Coco Coyer poles and this specific pole used to have the coco coir all over it, but I removed it because the plant that was attached to this pole got thrips, and I ended up putting, it was a Monstera Deliciosa, and I ended up putting it outside on a tree because I just didn't want to deal with potentially, I don't know, having thrips spread in my collection, so I just propagated her and planted her at the base of one of my oak trees in the backyard and hopefully she takes off and thrives over there because she's not coming back inside. <laughs> so I thought it would be a good idea to 
repurpose the pole that was inside of that Coco Coyer pole and make it into a more standard moss pole with sphagnum moss around it. So let's go ahead and get started with that today. So, and this pole is going to be for the Monstera Albo, the first one I'm making. So it's going to be pretty thick because I am putting two plants on, on it. So I do want it to be quite big and round so that eventually I can keep planting more um, vines to grow up it one day. So let's go ahead and figure out how big I want to make this particular pole. Okay, so I did for kind of a quick little glimpse, I did want the pole over here to be about that thick. You can see that so that there's just a lot of room inside the pole for those aerial roots to dig in, grab on, and give the plant more support. So I think that's about as thick as I want to make this particular pole. So I'm gonna count the squares real quick. So yeah, I think 20 squares in is about the radius or diameter that I want this moss pole to be. So I'm going to go ahead and do a cut at the 20th little square here. And now we just start the tedious process of just going down that mesh on that same line. And yes, I'm using little tiny um, nail clippers for my animals, not actual scissors, because I can't find any. But Enjoy this as I cut this wire. So yeah, that's about as thick as I wanted it to be for this big old girl. So I'm excited to fill it with moss, so let's go ahead and do that. I am using the Better Grow Premium Grade Orchid Moss. You can use any type of moss that your heart desires. This is just what was available to me. And yeah. So I'm just gonna grab our pole here. And I'm trying not make a mess here. So uh, let's go ahead and do a layer of the moss. And then you will want to have a like squirt bottle on hand to wet the moss. So I'm gonna go get mine. All right, cool. Got our little squirt bottle. And we're just gonna put in a small layer of sphagnum moss. Just a little there, like so. We're gonna wet it. Okay, you just wanna do that all the way down this pole and adding more water as you go. I'm just trying to figure out how to do this without getting sphagnum everywhere. I think that side's okay. Do a little bit of a cleanup afterward, but. Very little at the bottom. You're just gonna have a little tiny layer. You can even make it um, thinner if you want. I may have even put too much, but essentially what you're going to do is just place your pole into the center. And now what you're going to do now is just sort of do what we just did before, but laying the sphagnum on top of the pole and submerging it entirely. 
just remember to uh, not put too much sphagnum in that you aren't going to be able to um, fasten it shut. So always keep that in mind. have the pole completely filled up you're going to want to take your zip ties never open anything i have like the weakest hands oh god it's so hard to open okay so you're going to want to take your zip ties and i've actually never used zip ties before so let's See if we can use them properly. But you're gonna wanna just go starting at the very bottom or top, whichever way you have your pole situated right now. You're gonna want to start fastening it all the way to the top. So I'm gonna start down here at the bottom. Oh, this is so fun. <laughs> I would have done this so long ago. One, two, three, four, five. I would have done this so long ago if I knew it was this easy. I thought it was gonna be like freaking hard. And I am counting um, every five squares just because I'm OCD and I want it to be even, I guess. for so long because I thought it was gonna be like really hard. What the hell? It's so cool and easy. Anyone can do this. It's so much cheaper because now that I like, all you have to repurchase now is more moss because I have the mesh and this is gonna last. Look how big this thing is, it's huge. It's gonna last me a long time. And this moss is really good, so it should last a long time as well. Oh my god, I'm so excited! So just at like the top here, I am going to stuff it a little bit more since I wasn't able to... I don't know, I guess some of it fell out as I was kind of creating it. Oh my god, I'm so excited! Get it, get this moss wet. I don't really care about the bottom because I'm pretty sure it's going to be mostly in the soil anyway, so I'm not sure it's going to be very utilized. But oh my gosh, let's give it a little shake so some of the excess can come out. Oh my god, it's so beautiful, guys. I made my very own moss pole. Wow. So this is pretty darn big. Let me you guys back some more. It is absolutely massive. So I'm super excited to get the other two poles constructed. So let's go ahead and get these done. The skinnier ones. Oh, how cool. How cool. 
Okay, so for the next poll, I am going to be doing one for my Philodendron Florida Beauty, and it is going to be a bit smaller since it is taking to its new environment and it's still rooting out as a cutting, so I don't foresee it traveling up a giant pole very, very quickly. Um, but I could always be wrong, but I am going to just put it on a smaller pole for now and see how it develops. So let's go ahead and get this pole started. I am going to be making the poles the same size, or like same circumference, I guess. I think before I said I wasn't, but I am going to make them just as thick because why not? So 20 squares out. So I think I did say that I was going to be making it three moss poles today, but I think I'm just going to be making two. Um, I took a look at my Philodendron varicosum and she just put out a new leaf, so I'm going to wait till that completely unfurls before I cut her up and put her on her new pole. So we will just be focusing on my Philodendron Florida Beauty and my Monstera Albo for these moss, for these moss poles today. So just measuring out a little bit of where I'm going to cut this guy. Probably like right here. I'm gonna do the exact same technique we did before. I'm gonna use some of the sphagnum moss in the last hole, obviously. Start that down. It's such a mess from the other pole. I wish I had a bigger mat. <laughs> a challenge I think for me to keep moss poles wet now it's gonna be another kind of planty chore to add to the list so I don't know I'm excited to experiment with moss poles I've seen a lot of success with them um, on Instagram and other planty youtubers love them so I just thought it was gonna be a little bit harder than this I didn't know it was gonna be this darn easy Thing the rest. The top of this one. Alright you guys, so since I have my little baby moss pole and the big moss pole behind me all constructed and ready for their new plants, let's go ahead and grab the elbow and the Philodendron Florida Beauty and get them on their new poles. I'm excited! <laughs> okay guys, so I'm back with the Philodendron Florida Beauty that we're going to be putting up on this beautiful pole. And I got a little... Obviously the pole isn't going to fit in this tiny little um, nursery pot. So I did go ahead and find a pot that we're going to repot her in. As well as add the pole into. So I think this would be a good pot for it. I'm trying to decide if I want it in the center or yeah I think I want it in the center so we're gonna move it down a little and also I'm going to go ahead and mix up some new um, soil for this new pot and I'll be right back. All right so we do have our soil here all mixed up so if you can kind of tell from this soil composition here. They have it in a very airy aeroid mix so that is what I replicated over with my soil mix. I always kind of use an airy kind of mix anyway so no matter what the plant because I'm kind of an overwaterer and I don't like to give my plants root rot. So let's go ahead and I mean I'm gonna reuse the soil since it is a wrong with it obviously how awesome 
Look at those beautiful roots. Absolutely awesome. We're gonna be very, very careful to not damage the new leaf coming in. And now we can go ahead and scoop in some of the soil. Gosh, I wish I had more arms to hold stuff. I am um, pressing down pretty hard um, in the back of the pole just to give it the um, sturdiness that I'm wanting, obviously. But once I come up near the plant, I am being a lot more um, gentle and careful. So just keep that in mind. I don't want to break anything while you are potting up your beautiful plants. So. Oh my gosh, it looks so beautiful. Whoa! Oh wow! Look how amazing! And it should start to grow up that pole beautifully. Wow! Oh my gosh! I can't believe it's finally on its own little pole. And I think I am going to Velcro it. So let me go grab my Velcro tape real quick. I actually bought this uh, a couple weeks ago, so I'm excited to use it for the first time. Gonna measure, see how much I need. Like that! Oh my god, yay! Okay. That is officially her all tied to the pole. So that aerial roots should start to cling on to it and do what this pole is meant to do. I'm so excited, it looks so beautiful. Yay, all right. Right back here. Okay, so I'm gonna bring the elbow down, the mother plant, as well as her top cutting, so we can put the pole in her pot and repot the top cutting into the same pot as the mother plant. So let's go ahead and do that too. I'm excited. Okay, so we are here with our beautiful Albo. Oh, she's so pretty. So she just recently gave me this fourth leaf since we've cut it. Jeez. Um, and you can kind of see, when, I don't know, she's kind of leaning and these aerial roots are desperately looking for something to cling on to. So I thought it'd be a great idea to go ahead and put this big mama plant and her top cutting into the same pot together and put her on that big old moss pole that we just created together. So let's go ahead and do that. This is going to be pretty, pretty crazy taking this girl out of this terracotta. It's been about a year since I potted her in this terracotta, so let's be very, very careful with how we do this. Looks like she's gonna come right out, so. Oh, 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 oh. Wow, guys, look at her roots. Making a bit of a mess, but oh my gosh beautiful white roots still so that is a great sign of health and I am super excited I'm not going to disturb her root ball too too much Be very very careful don't want to snap anything all right I'm going to lay her down ever so gently and then well, first actually let's grab our pole I am going to, again, put it straight in the middle of this guy, so I'm going to throw her up a little bit. I really hope this, oh, 
all can be consolidated. I guess I am going to have to kind of disrupt it a little just to be able to fit it in here again with the moss pole in the way. I don't think I can put this in the center. I am going to have to put it off to one side. That's fine though. Oh, yay, okay. Yeah, that's fine. I'm going to go ahead and start backfilling just a little bit before I start to add the top cutting, just so it has a little bit more stability in here and I can maybe grab it easier. And take the top cutting out, which has awesome roots, and I'm hoping she will appreciate the extra room in the new pot with her mama again. This was recently watered, so I'm not going to really need to water her again. Okay, well. So I am just sort of breaking up this root ball as well, so it will be able to fit next door. I honestly should have, damn it. So while I was repotting this, I discovered that it's just too hard to fit the um, top cutting and the mother plant into the same old pot that it was in before. So I did find a slightly bigger one, same uh, terracotta, so that's good. It can dry out still and have a bit of a more porous situation, but I am going to need to transfer it now, so, oh, so sorry. Don't hate me. Oh, I'm so sorry. Lay her down. And again, I'm not gonna do it um, totally in the middle because I do want the elbow to kind of face out, if that makes sense. So let's go ahead and try this again. start backfilling and then once I get a little bit closer to the top I will throw in the top cutting. I'm just filling soil around the pole first. Okay I'm gonna add in the top cutting now. Wow, this is going to be such a beautiful full pot of Alba Monstera. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. This is exactly um, kind of what I was going for when I first purchased my Alba. I knew I was going to have to cut it um, and propagate it to sell some of the cuttings to make my money back. And um, it would take some time before I had a really full established kind of mature plant. And now that it is happening, a year after I've purchased this mother plant, I'm just super shocked to know how fast it all happens. I love these mats because you can just like empty them into your soil. Buckets. It looks so good. Okay, I am gonna Velcro um, tape it real quick. Wow. I am impressed with myself. I didn't think I'd be able to do something like this. I'm really glad I found this pot too, because this is the perfect 
um, perfect amount of room, I think, for both cuttings or both plants to be have enough room for their roots and everything like that. But oh my gosh, you guys, I cannot wait to show you what this looks like. Okay, I'm gonna bring it um, kind of in front of the door so um, you guys can see it a little bit better. All right, here is the finished result. Look at all that extra moss pole for it to climb. Here is that newest leaf that came out just a few days ago and completely unfurled. In the last video, I showed you it was coming out, so that is her. I think it's the most variegated leaf too with that really big section right there. So looking very pretty. Coming on down to the top cutting. It's looking super bushy and full all together. Oh my gosh. Let's just do a full little pan. Wow. It looks like such a much fuller plant. Wow, it looks so beautiful. So, so pretty. I am so proud of myself for being able to make this moss pole and do this all by myself today. Oh my gosh, so stinking cute. Little mama moss pole and a baby moss pole. Oh my gosh, so cute. The Florida Beauty is absolutely amazing. All right, so with that, I am going to put these back in their spots and or actually I may have to find some new spots for them. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so I did some rearranging. I moved the money tree out of the way. I moved the Anthurium Magnificum to where the money tree was. And now there's a huge, nice corner space for my elbow. And then right directly below it, we have the Florida Beauty. So, oh my gosh, it looks so good over here. And I just know by the next video, whenever I switch out this Coco Coir pole on my varicosum for a new moss pole like on the elbow, it's gonna look even nicer. I may even just start switching out all of my poles over time. We will see, but I'm just so, so excited to see how this elbow is going to develop in like its new pot and how this top cutting is also going to adjust to its new little pot upgrade as well. And hopefully they continue to flourish and do amazing this next growing season. I did want to have this done beforehand so that now it can just boom the next couple months. So I'm super, super happy, excited to have done this today. And I really hope you all enjoyed. So let's go ahead and roll the outro. All right, you guys. So I do appreciate you if you stuck all the way to the end. And I do hope you enjoyed going to the store with me and getting some supplies as well as being able to construct some of those moss poles today. So if you did enjoy, I please ask that you leave a like, a comment, or even subscribing down below and joining our little planted hippie community here and to help me keep on planting. So with that, I will see you all in the next video. Bye.